This play from the 2018 Buffalo Army game is instructive for several reasons. First, it shows how aggressive Jay Bateman can be on first down. He's going to bring a corner blitz from midfield on first down here. So you got four on the line of scrimmage, your two backers, and then this corner is going to come off the edge with a corner blitz. Now, let's take a look at this. Now, I want you to notice... See that receiver who's hollering in at the tackle? Right there. Take a look at his at his hand. He's saying, he's coming, he's coming. That's the second thing I want to emphasize here because take note of what happens on this play. Tackle's able to get to the blitz. You also have some support from the, from the, uh, the back here. And as a result, the quarterback gets an opportunity to make a throw where they could have they gashed this. A better throw is going to gash this. So what this shows, this is the second thing that this is showing, is it's going to be really imperative that the North Carolina def uh, defensive backs in particular, but the defenders in general, do a really good job of disguising and masking what their assignments are. What they're trying to show here is a cover two man type look where you've got two safeties deep, inside leverage. So he's trying to show man. But what's pretty obvious is he's got his eyes at the quarterback instead of on the receiver. And if you do that as a defensive back, an experienced receiver is going to recognize he ain't looking at me and he's got inside leverage, he's blitzing. So he calls that out. Once the quarterback recognizes what's coming, this is, this is bad for a defense. He's able to get inside, and those backers had to step up because of the play action. A quality quarterback is going to create a big play here. This is going to get gashed if the quarterback makes a good throw because they're rotating down from this side. He's got he's going back. This this wide receiver, this slot receiver has all the space in the world. If you lead him through here, he's still running up in here. This is a 20-yard play. So, the other thing that this this play also illustrates to me is it it shows how facing a lot more plays opposite a fast tempo offense like what Phil Longo brings to Chapel Hill is going to potentially cause some more difficulties for Bateman's defense. It, it's the same way that a second time through the order in baseball is different for a pitcher. Offenses are going to get more looks at Bateman's pitches. And as a result, there's, there's going to be times where things are going to get identified. The disguise is going to get identified, even if they're good at it, just because it's, you know, the fifth or sixth time you've run a given package in a game, or maybe they've had to show more in some early games than they've wanted. And so some things won't, uh, won't be quite as as fresh and there's going to be some big plays as a result that maybe army didn't give up as as a result of not having to show quite as much as often final thing here is this slot corner here really he's an outside backer needs to do a better job of getting his hands on this player here he cannot in this defense just let him have a free inside release he's got to know where his support is and you want to force that, if this is going to be an, a wide throw out, that's fine. You want to force a college quarterback to make that wide side throw. What you can't allow is a free inside release here. Even if the offense is able to recognize what's coming here, if he's able to get a little bit to the inside and just get his hands on him here and redirect that, then this changes from a big play or a potential big play to something that's a little bit more palatable for the for the defense or maybe an incomplete pass, even if they recognize it. But all, all told, this is going to be a place where Bateman's aggressiveness, it's going to be interesting to see how many more packages he's going to bring to the table to compensate for all of the extra plays that his defense is going to have to see opposite Phil Longo's offense in Chapel Hill.